Hello Cowboy Nation, let's go to another round of news from the Dallas Cowboys, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more news from your team. Trending, the Dallas Cowboys could replace Dak Prescott with this next star in 2025, and many fans should be happy. The Dallas Cowboys are entering the 2024 season with high expectations after winning the NFC East last season and being defeated at home by the Green Bay Packers in the wild card round of the playoffs. Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott had a year in 2023 when he finished second for NFL MVP and threw a league-high 36 touchdowns. Still, the failure to do anything in the postseason has once again made many Cowboy fans want to move on from their star quarterback, and that could happen next season. The 30-year-old quarterback is entering the final year of his four-year contract, which he signed in March 2021. There have been no signs of progress on a new contract. If Prescott doesn't sign a deal by next season, he likely won't be on the roster for 2025, and one NFL analyst already has a replacement for the star quarterback. Early in 2025, CBS mock draft Chris Trapasso had the Cowboys pick 25 and sign Houston quarterback Donovan Smith. Trapasso says, there's always a surprise quarterback that enters the first-round discussion. Smith is my choice now. At 6 foot 4 and weighing 240 pounds, he looks the part. Furthermore, he has mobility and a reasonable arm. Smith began his career at Texas Tech in 2020 and then transferred to Houston in 2023. He threw for 2,801 yards and 22 touchdowns while throwing 13 interceptions last season. Dallas Cowboys QB Dak Prescott's off-field impact? McCarthy says it's the best he's ever seen. In what has already been a surreal offseason, Dak Prescott had an unforgettable night on Friday in front of a crowd of more than 500 people at the Thompson Hotel, where he hosted the Faith Fight Finish Foundation's fourth annual gala. Several hundred thousand dollars were raised for the foundation, which was created as a tribute to Dak's mother, Peggy, who died after a battle with colon cancer in 2013. The foundation also honors Dak's brother, Jace, who died by suicide in 2020. Since its inception, the foundation has raised money for four pillars, colon cancer research, mental health and suicide prevention, to bridge the gap between law enforcement and the communities they serve, and to offer assistance to those facing hardships, that challenge life. Ezekiel Elliott, Zach Martin, C.D. Lamb and Leighton Vander Esch were among the Cowboys' teammates in attendance, along with Hall of Famer Charles Haley, coach Mike McCarthy and owner Jerry Jones. The night featured a musical performance by Cowboys superfan Post Malone, a rapper-turned-country star who attended Grapevine High School. At one point, McCarthy stood back, surveyed the scene in awe and said he hadn't met anyone in his career who was as good off the field as Prescott. And that includes McCarthy's time in Green Bay with Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre and in Kansas City with Joe Montana. Without a doubt, Troy Aikman and Dirk Nowitzki are the only Dallas-Fort Worth players who had a similar off-field impact during their playing careers. Considering Prescott is entering the final year of his contract, it's hard not to wonder if the gala was the last of its kind in Dallas. Jones said he wants to sign Prescott to a long-term contract extension. Still, there have been no negotiations with Prescott's agent about a new deal, which could make him the richest quarterback in NFL history. And not even on Friday, when Jones and Prescott's agent, Todd France, were just a few tables apart. Prescott and his team missed a great opportunity to accommodate them together on this night of fun, and Jones was already gone by the time the party started upstairs at the chic and cozy Catbird restaurant. It's incredible, Prescott said of Jones' presence. Obviously, he's an owner who believes in philanthropy, believes in giving back. And we always had a great relationship. I hope he spends some money on the silent auction. Well, since Prescott mentioned that Jones spent money, it was natural to ask about the possibility of Prescott using the night to talk about a new deal. Prescott dodged the question as if he had escaped a blind pass rusher with a patented spin move. M, I know what you mean, Prescott said with a laugh. Yes, everything is fine. A different time, another night. The night was about the cause that is near and dear to Prescott's heart. Every day I'm grateful and I'm grateful to be where I am, he said. And I know I wouldn't be where I am, I know I wouldn't be who I am, the man I am, I wouldn't have the family I have, if it weren't for my mother. It's her instilling a belief in me, pouring everything she had into me, being selfless, showing me what it's like to love and have a family. For me, it's second nature to be able to share this. I want people to understand who my mother was as a person. I think the best way to do that is to be the best individual you can be. I know she would be proud. And she just said, keep going. What she instilled in me, what I always believed, is that there is never too much and there is never enough. Don't be satisfied with anything. You've seen what you can do, do more. Prescott did more. 
and the foundation grew from one pillar to four pillars. The presence of Eduardo Flores, NFL International Fan of the Year from Santiago de Querétaro, Mexico, was sure proof of the impact Prescott had. When Flores announced the Cowboys pick during the NFL draft, he shared his struggles with mental health issues and thanked Prescott for inspiring him to talk about his own struggles. I wouldn't be here without Dak Prescott, Flores said. The first thing I would say is, thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for inspiring me, for changing the world, for saving me. And I admire you in every aspect of your life. Prescott said, it just shows how important it is to speak out. When you say something, believe something, and mean something, if it reaches one person, you've done your job. Don't hesitate to speak from the heart. I and my mission is to ensure that others do not experience and feel the pain that my family and I personally went through with my brother. Being able to prevent that in different ways and see that happen firsthand in the draft, letting the world know, is really special. What is your opinion on this news? If you liked it or not, leave it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like it so you don't miss any news about the Dallas Cowboys. Until next time, thank you.